Hey guys, how's it going? It is Kyra here with another Diablo Mortal video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the top farming locations currently here in Diablo Immortal. Right now we are starting with Realm of Damnation. These can be done either as a solo or in a party. Usually it's always better to get in a party. It's gonna get you a lot more experience. It's gonna keep those kill streaks up a lot easier. I always recommend going the Treasure Hunter tree. It's gonna get you more gold. It's gonna get you more experience. And it's also going to get you more equipment here. This, these are the amount of points I recommended to it. 54 points. You can even argue you just go up to the gold fine and that's it. But I think 54 points is a good sweet spot here. Get you more stuff as you farm the open world. First place we're starting here is going to be the goat location. This is Plains of Torment. I easily think this is the best spot. It just has everything going for it. It has a very simple structure here. You just run around in a counterclockwise circle. It has a lot of shrines to make things faster. It has easy access to the salvage slash return location right here. It has a ton of orange drops and those have a very high chance of dropping a legendary piece of gear for you. It just has everything going for it. It's awesome. Mainly the point of this video is going to be if this spot is filled, where do I go next? Okay, next we're going to head over to Bilefin and check out the ship. The ship farm is a great farm if you're really trying to chill out. So currently it is going to be right here in Crimson Blade Haven. Okay, here it is. You got to spawn down here. We are in Crimson Blade Haven right now. This one is really nice. The one benefit that this one has over the Realm of Damnation spot is that it's so easy. This one is the big chill one when you don't really want to play the game too much you just kind of want to check in back and forth between doing this and something else maybe watching a show maybe playing another game for example so this what makes this place so good is that it's so straightforward you don't really need to be running around in a circle it's one of the few spots that you can get four people you camp like you get one guy camping here you get one guy camping here and then you get one guy in here he has probably the hardest job he has to kill the stuff down here and he has to kill the stuff in here. Uh, it's just really nice to be able to just chill out and not have to do too much and be able to farm it. They'll come to you and it's great. This definitely is going to benefit from a party, but this is all you got to do. You're not walking in a circle. You don't have to really think about to it too much. Definitely is a drop in experience from Realm of Divination, but it is a nice spot to go if you're not looking to uh, put full effort in into your grind. We're going to be going to the Sanctified Earth Monastery in Mount Sylvain. And this one is very straightforward. It's literally just running around in the circle here. Counterclockwise, run through the circle. There's a ton of spawns here. This is easily one of my favorite spots. I like it because it's just straight up. Everyone knows exactly what we're doing. Can't screw it up. Uh, sometimes in Realm of Damnation, people kind of run the other way or uh, the quests get in the way. Whereas this one, you get good frenzy shrines or, or I should just say shrines in general, not necessarily frenzy, just all throughout here. Uh, definitely don't take this quest up here. It's just going to lead you away from all this. And look, just look how simple this is. It's just very straightforward. You run around a circle. There's a ton of camps here. You actually get a lot of stuff going for you. I'm a big fan of this spot. This is usually my go-to place if Realm of Damnation is too busy. Uh, the only time I would go to like Biofin, for example, is if I have a team of four and we're all just looking to chill and not like play too much. But this one is going to be the one where if you're just trying to get in, farm some experience, get out. This is going to be the next one after Realm of Damnation. And you also get two shrines here. You get one here, you get one over there. Really nice to just have it all within the circle. Okay, so next we're in the Domain of Horror in the Shasar Sea. Pretty popular spot, especially for solo farming. Uh, you just really run around this circle here. And I'll just kind of show off exactly how this works. This is definitely going to be a spot that I would check out if in the very unfortunate scenario that Mounds of Ain and Realm of Damnation are already taking, then I'll go here and try this. So this one is actually pretty good, especially if you're by yourself. I like how just confined the area is uh, for this, you know, where you're just kind of in this small circle. It's not too complicated. You can't really screw it up, especially if you're just kind of, you know, watching a show or, or maybe not putting your full effort in to be able to actually do the farm here because it does get pretty tedious. So here we go. And then you just kind of run around through here. I'm kind of hoping to see a shrine here soon. So you can kind of get an idea of where those spawn. But for the most part, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is just a solid spot that has a lot of drop rates, which equals a lot of experience and a lot of legendaries. Okay, so the last section here is going to be Ruins of Cestron. Th this is a popular one that people have talked about. I feel like this one probably won't get used too much unless there's maybe like a server crunch or something like that. Because... Look at how long you got to walk to be able to actually get to the spot. But once you're here, it's actually pretty good. So here it is. We are currently in this area here. It's going to be all kind of through this square. 
as we walk through. Also, as you just saw right there, there's a shrine right located right over here. They're able to pick this guy up as we just walk through here. And when it comes to these, I like to kind of show it. Maybe you want some novelty. Maybe you want to kind of change it up a bit. But for the most part, the way I look at this is I just kind of go through the tier list of the ones that I think are the best and go through there. And it's going to be really tough depending on your server with when it comes to population to see myself ever falling to this location. But I would say that this is going to be a good one if you need it. But it would just be very rare to actually have to fight over that many people um, to actually lose out on needing to bump myself all the way down multiple locations. Like I think Balance of Vane and Rebel of Damnation are going to be just fine. But here is another decent one for you just in case if you don't have that. Also, I think a lot of times I would choose the Bilefin uh, farm location over this one as well just because it's a little bit more chill and usually I the other farms are more active and the Bilefin's more chill and for all those to be taken and then for me to want to come here is rare. This is an option for you. I want to throw it out there that it actually is pretty good and it is a nice change of pace. You're not stuck in Realm of Damnation for weeks on end instead you can actually do something like this that's going to be the list here we got five farming locations for you this is going to get you good experience good legendaries and with that guys i'm out of here peace